I'm, I, I actually think that in, in Vincent's mind, it would make sense that these people would not either recognize the guards, or if they got suspicious, I would be able to talk my way out of it like I have every other time. Yeah, sure, go ahead. I don't really mind. I'm sleeping this entire time, so I don't have any insight or input. I don't even know that he's trying to do this. Yeah. So, Vincent, you get to go and do this after two days. Um, that, though you'll be at full HP if you wait two days before you start selling shit. Sure. Okay, I so... You wait three or four, though, like I said, because... My, my, well, my, do you I'm wait three or do you wait four? Out. Um, let's say three. Three? Okay. So, end of day three, beginning of day four, basically. Mm -hmm. You get up, you're like, fuck it, I'm tired of this shit, I'm gonna go sell this armor in Appleton. Mm -hmm. And everyone else is like... Unless, is there a town close near... What, like, let me see the map. Appleton is the closest town. But is there any equidistant or close to it, rather? Um... I don't. I can't. I don't know how to pull up the map other than. Right or near. Here is the map. Oh, that's JP chat. Wrong chat. Here you go. And it's uh, up and to the left, just a little bit. Actually, if you just zoom in in the upper left quadrant. Uh. Whoa! This map is so big. The pale yellow dot is King's Catacombs. Oh, I remember that is now. Yeah, okay, so... And we're just outside of King's Catacombs, right? Right. Okay. Um, yeah, I take, like... You know what I'm going to do? I literally... I, I take the armor, and I'm going to sell, like, one or two in Appleton, and one or, t one or two in, like, Rodor, and then ride back in, like, a triangle. Okay. So it will take you two days to get to Appleton, then another two days to Rodor, and another two back, three back. Mm -hmm. So it would be two, four, and three would be seven. So you're going to leave them for seven days? Yeah. Okay. And I'm informing them. I mean, how much role playing do you want, to, you want me to do right now? Like, <laughs> well, I don't know. Whatever. Do you guys, are you guys okay with this? Does everyone agree to this plan of action? If he comes and tells me, I say, yeah, sure, sell it. Just be careful. Try not to have anyone uh, following your tracks or anything like that. Don't be too yep. noticeable. Yep, and I'm aware that I'm selling the soldier's armor, so it'll take some negotiating to explain to them that we didn't kill a camp of guards and then I'm selling their armor. Okay, and how do you plan on hauling? How much armor are you carrying with you? Uh, well, I mean, as much as I can, you know. Okay, so there were, I already deleted them, but there were 12, uh, 10 sets of plate mail. And I take the, I do not take the captains. I feel like that's Okay, so there's nine kind of... sets of plate mail and, you know, swords and bows and arrows and daggers and shit. Just so the take... armor. Okay. Just the armor. Um, and how, how do you plan on actually carrying that on your horse? Like, that's a lot of fucking armor. I guess I could take a mule horse. And, I mean, like, you know, plate mail is the size of a person. You know, it's pretty broad. How do you actually well, you fit You said it there was eight horses, horse. right? He could do, like, a convoy of horses behind <laughs> him. He could, ha he could ride the lead one, tie them up, and put just laden them with armor. Just, like, behind them uh, saddlebags on either end. Just have, yeah. like, yeah, horses. Man. No, I'd just wrap yeah. a, I would tie a rope. And he could just have a caravan. Fucking duh. That's why I, I insist yeah. on keeping one horse. I don't ride eight horses into town. <laughs> well, I, Convoy, it's like man. One mule horse, and I tie a rope through the armor and throw it over the back of the horse tied to it, and then I have as much as my horse can carry as well. Okay, so you just like drag the armor behind the horse? <laughs> no. You like, okay, I feel so like, I feel like a horse like <laughs> sack a horse full of armor and then like strap it down <laughs> to it. So yeah. there's like this mule with like all these piles of armor that like sticks up over its head. You know what? I'll draw it for you. This is getting really weird. I don't I don't know that this is the part we slow down and really think about. Like I'm a soldier in a world and I'm like, "How do I put this armor on this horse? I'll throw it on top of it and it'll carry it like a newspaper stack." No, I probably armor is very rigid and it's hard to stack. It's very hard to stack and I want to know what it looks like when you come into town carrying all this armor. Here's the horse. Okay, it's facing you. This is the horse's face. The armor is on either side of it, 
tied with a, a rope between the armor, so it's dangling on either side of the horse, like two or three sets. Lines. What? No, no, he showed it to you on the webcam. Jeff, let's do it again. Demonstrate. Oh, on the webcam. Jesus. On the webcam. <laughs> Please Focus on the spoon. demonstrate shit again. Focus on the spoon. This is got a it. horse. Got the spoon. On either side of the horse is sets of armor tied with a rope through them, dangling on either side of the horse. Not on the ground. Mm -hmm. Not on top, like not <laughs> stacked to the sky, and not through the horse, just on the sides of the horse. Okay, so you fit nine sets of armor dangling off either side of the horse that way. I fit as much as Neil's world will permit, because if I run into a situation where I'm like, hmm, it looks like nine won't fit on this horse, I won't do it, because it doesn't work. There are eight horses, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> idea. Maybe got it does convoy. still work. Yeah. Look, you can put. He's got a convoy. You got, yeah, convoy's where it's at. Maybe you should. By this time, we're all head. outside, being like, you know, Vincent. Like, <laughs> I think if you put eight horses, <laughs> I you feel just... eight horses could carry nine sets of armor. I feel like that's doable. Okay, you, just, you guys been on the weirdest things. You can tell me I can't do it. You can tell me I can only take five, but we're like <laughs> painting a picture of how I'm carrying these. Okay, like, so here's the thing: function. is if if for whatever reason you walk into a town and they happen to do recognize the armor, and you've like you know, and we didn't go into this detail at all, I'm just like making it up off the top of my head. The most optimal way I would have hauled armor, you would have been like, what? No, I wouldn't have dragged the armor behind these horses. That's ridiculous. So if we go into this beforehand, that way it doesn't cause right. problems okay. when we actually get into That's town. Fair to say. You so here's what I'm going to do. You should cover it with something, with like a Abigail. mattress or whatever. Yeah, I should cover the mattress. <laughs> Not a mattress, but with a... Wait, uh, what should... the fuck is on a mattress? You know what I do? I build a house over the horse. <laughs> we should go fire... horse. <laughs> no, no, I get... Listen, I know what she's saying. Cover the blanket. Here's what I do. Yeah, that's it. Blanket. Thank you. <laughs> blanket, mattress. Anyways, I uh, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> so I do put this arm around the horse that way. I do cover the blanket. And Neil, so we can program this for you. I approach the town super sneakily with all my skills. I park the horse at a safe distance away from the town, out of vision. I then walk into the town, go to the armor and say, I have armor for sale. And he goes, that's a good idea. What kind of armor do you have for sale? And then I produce like a gauntlet, and it shows it's finely crafted plate mail. And I say I could sell the rest of the set to you, but I need to know that you're willing to buy this and how much you would buy it for. And he goes, I'd buy it for a million dollars. And I go, I will be right back with the armor. And then I do that. Perfect. That's exactly how I like to hear this shit. Okay. Um, so you get to the first town. You get to Appleton. Small lost town. There's an armorer there. He's like, wow, this is extremely, you know, he sees the gauntlet and says, this is great. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any need for armor of this quality. Do you, you know, know if anyone does stone. have need for armor of this quality? Uh, not in this town. I think you'd have to travel to perhaps Farhaven or Deep Scar for that sort of thing. Us small towns don't really have need of plate mail. Okay. I appreciate that, sir. And seeing as how Farhaven would be like a one-day detour, I make a stop there. All right. You make a stop in Farhaven. Uh... You go up to the armor. It's a repeat process. He offers to buy a one set of plate mail for you, from you for for five six. Go. Chat was saying a bunch of stupid shit, but then someone said it becomes a million and the group never sees it again. <laughs> <laughs> I just make like sixty thousand dollars, I just fucking disappear. <laughs> you go back home to tell your father. <laughs> I've done it, father. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. Yeah, Papa. I've I'm... solved our financial problems. <laughs> the kingdom is We're rich. <laughs> I didn't get any magic items, but fuck if I uh, got a lot of gold. <laughs> 750 gold. He'll buy one set for that. I'll sell you two for a thousand. Done. Good to do it with you, sir. Uh, uh, and then he asks you where you got it from. You know, actually, uh, we are a traveling group of uh, do-gooders, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> we... <laughs> I don't. I don't laugh. Okay, first of all, we always do good. We're in a giggly we mood always. here. Uh, 
I came across some brigands that had overcome some guards, and I was able to save some of their lives uh, a couple towns back, but they had no way to thank me, so what they did was they allowed me into their armory and ha gave me the pick, and now I'm not floating them. Well, seems like you've done well. Happy to do business with you. Happy to do business with you, too. And you give him the armor, and then he gives you the money, and blah 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 Easy peasy. Uh, All right. Where are you going next? Before I leave, I ask him, do you think uh, I could offload a couple more of these pieces in Rodor, maybe? Eh, it's questionable. You should check something like uh, Deep Scar or Thornbrook or Windsail. You go to Windsail, I bet you could sell whatever you got on you. All right. I appreciate your help, sir. Thank you. Okay. And then I go to, I'm going to stop at Rodor. Okay. Same process. Uh, nothing if no one in Rodor will buy for you. I offer it for 500 gold. He gives you some questionable looks like, why are you willing to sell so low? Is there something wrong with the armor? No, I'm encumbered, and I just, I fell upon, a, like I said, a big store after saving these guards, and uh, I just need to get rid of it, so I'm willing to, to go below the price and, and help friends out. Everyone needs good armor. Yeah, but I mean, you could just go down the road to Deep Scar and probably get I'm on my way. that. I'm on my way. I just, I, I'm willing to help people out and, and allow them to get armor for a cheaper cost. Well, I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. Done. I'll buy a set for 500. Thank you, sir. Then I head okay. to Deep Scar. Uh, then you, you also go to Deep Scar? Yep. About another day, I would say. Yeah. I do send a messenger pigeon to Abigail, and it is... You can't send a, a messenger pigeon to Abigail. A uh, messenger ferret. It's going to it. deliver. <laughs> messenger ferret gets eaten all the I way. Tried. By the <laughs> way, Neil, at the end of this, I have something that I want to do with my days. Just well, at the end. Good. So if, you, <laughs> if you say you want to sell the fucking weapons, then <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to slit your throat. No, that's not. No. All right. Deep you, scar. you pull into Deep Scar halfway through uh, the one, two, three, four, fifth day of your journey. <laughs> Well, I, I pull outside of Deep Scar and I walk into Deep Scar, yes. Well, yeah. Okay, and I go That's to the armor. You pull the horse into Deep Scar. Yes. Yeah. Um, you go to some local armor and you do the whole here's a glove, high quality, blah, blah, blah. How much would you be willing to buy it for? Uh, he offers you, he would buy two sets, each for 1K. Um, I say I will give him four sets. But you only have two more sets. Well, I sold three, and I gave one away, so that's four, right? You sold two and then one. No, you sold one, two, and one. You could only carry five on your horse. Oh, Didn't okay. Didn't you ready to go over this? No? I don't no, okay, so. that, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll give you the last two for 1K. That's each, right? No, but I think you're right. We, you no, know, you didn't sell any in Appleton at all, did you? No. No, they told him to get the no, fuck out. Yeah. Cool, yeah, so the last one for 1K. Cool. So I sold two now for 1K each or a total? No, no, no. So you sold two for a total of 1K in Farhaven, one for 500 in Rodor, and one. No, there's, that means you do have two left. So Who's on first? For... So right, you... what, what's on second? You get another 2K and okay. you sold all what your in the fuck Thank is you very going much, Kindly, sir. I appreciate it. And I'm on my way. And you get back. And you have more gold than Abigail. Four thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight gold and ninety-five nine silver and five copper. This, this is, is actually really gold. bad to do, Neil. I try not to do this, but I was talking about this earlier, and I'm just now remembering. While in Deep Scar, which I guess is the biggest town of the ones, did I did I see any kind of? Because I was also looking for like magical items. Did they have a no a healing not. gauntlet? Nothing like that. No, they don't. Yeah, magic okay. items are really rare um, to be able to for sale. Like Wind Sail's got some. Fitchview has a few, and Valesburg is the place where you can find the most for sale. We were spoiled because we were so close to Valesburg for most of the game that I got, yeah. Yeah. got used to it. All right, so I head back. When you okay, arrive so... in town, Bregger has tied all the horses <laughs> together, and they're marching in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, Meanwhile, so... Bregger has befriended eight horses. You are back at the... Back in the, the thingy. What are you doing there? Yeah, so I know I have to be super restful, so I'm just chilling in bed or whatever. I, I have a couple of preliminary questions. So if you learn 
you, you only have a, you can only learn three languages, right? Uh, depending on your intelligence. Right. And, I yeah, can learn another two. Is three, and you've already learned common and elven. Okay, so if you learn one, can you forget one to make room for a new one later? No. <laughs> it's like Pokemon. <laughs> you can't? No. Life's not a video game, Ryan. What the fuck? Which language bit. would you like to forget, Ryan? <laughs> hang on, hang on! I don't know Spanish. I don't know Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What are you? Language are you trying to learn here, buddy? Well, it's not like necessary language, but like a, a code. Yeah. I want to create. I want to create like a series. Are you trying to create? Bregger's language? <laughs> like a series of blinks, right? And they can, you know... So I wake up periodically throughout the day and Bregger's just blinking like yeah. constantly. I'm like, what in hey, the hey. fuck <laughs> is this idiot doing? <laughs> and try to roll over as quietly as but possible. But it's even weirder than that. Like, Bannon walks out and he's like gonna go get breakfast and he sees Bannon in a window going... <laughs> <laughs> I told and Bannon's like, <laughs> like oh god, he just don't look at him. He's Vincent needs notice. to get back here. Bregor's losing it. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to learn, like, I want to create over 14 days of just sitting in bed a series of 11 of, days. Yeah, 11 days. A series of blinks. One, like, for now. And <laughs> look, hold on. Who do you teach this to? So you're taking more I teach more myself. I teach myself. Gregor, you can blink three times and it takes you two seconds. You don't need 11 <laughs> days to, like, okay. make but this happen. To make the system, though. I blink thrice and that means I'm hungry. I'm so happy I figured that out by myself. <laughs> the first three days are spent making the alphabet and the rest of the days are spent making it inconspicuous. <laughs> it's very, very, uh... Not okay, so you develop Morse code via blinking. Yes. For yourself. Yeah. yeah. So he just nope. talks to himself. Is basically you, you just invented a way to talk to That's yourself. That's why I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what? Everyone's got something to do when they're bored. It's cool. All right. All right so Brenner, in my this. 11 days, I learned so to does... fart the alphabet. <laughs> 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 and when everyone comes back. <laughs> That's how I communicate. <laughs> so you got like a can of beans next to you. And oh yeah, I it went into the kitchen and found it all there. <laughs> and I'm just... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so does this take a, a language spot or do I just know this thing now? No, you can blink Morse code. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Without using a language spot? I mean, it, you're not learning. Oh, God, Abigail's interesting. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I learn it, too? For uh, three. Right, we're trying to teach you. If, if he comes, if, okay, so I'm just chilling in bed for, like, 11 days. If you come in there. I come in you, there. Okay, if you see me, I'll teach it to you. As soon as Vincent comes back, I'm like, never leave me alone again. <laughs> <laughs> just so sitting. I am going to spend days learning. No, 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 no. Who's on watch while you're teaching her Morse code? Oh. Bannon. <laughs> Bannon, do you volunteer? No, I'm not watching the shit. I'm trying to get my <laughs> HP up. You're watching sometimes. <laughs> I'm eating all the fucking beans and trying I'll to find the alphabet. I'll fucking carry you up to this place, and you're just going to stay there, all right? You don't even need to walk. I'll carry you. Sure, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And then I'm going to learn the blink code. For I'll no extra and, language place. And Bregor spend 11 days... Winking at each other. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bannon takes most of the time staring out into the distance, going, Oh my god, what did I get myself into? Yes. Uh, Celia kind of chats with you a little bit and mostly kind of paces and acts impatient and stares <laughs> wistfully off towards the king's catacombs. It is day ten and a half since you guys woke up after being captured. Uh, when Vincent rolls back into town or rides back into the area. <laughs> Vincent, I'm so happy to see you. How'd it go? I was quite successful in spending my time. Thank you. Awesome. Did you, uh, did you end up selling the armor? I don't see any with you. I did. Good. Okay. I don't think we should go to this temple, by the way. I just want to... Let's just go somewhere else. You don't think we should fulfill the mission? You know, I'm getting... I don't know. We, we've done so much here. I feel like if we go in there, who knows what happens when we come out. Like, we're going to have to make the wish if we even do find, and it's a real thing. 
Like, what we'll the have fuck, to... man? We're doing the quest. I say blinkingly. Yeah, we have to, sir. We uh, <laughs> Sela counts on us. We told her we would, and we've already spilled blood in the name of this mission. Like, we're we're in too deep. <sighs> All right, if you must, but it's gonna be a. I'm okay. Let's so, go. did you guys have any other ideas of wishes you'd like to do, or should we discuss it later? Um, I mean, we definitely should discuss it. Um, it's just we had. Uh, I mean, what are your thoughts, Abigail? What do you think we should do? I've been thinking of two things. Uh, first of all, I used to have this magical ring which connected people to each other. What if we all had one and could like talk mentally to each other? I feel like this could make us powerful. Or, and for added meta, because we could totally know what's going on with the others, right? <laughs> or we could use it to get some kind of ring of healing or something. Or some kind of second wind. Like if someone dies, he can it kind of like resuscitates, and we have like one per day or something. Yeah, I, those are my ideas. I I dreamt about it throughout the the sleep. <coughs> Not bad. I I still my opinion would be that I vouch that we we have something in mind to deal with Dalimar and to free Uncle Oris because I think that. Uh, I agree with that. We owe him as much. We need to undo the evils that we did. <laughs> Well, if you want to do that, why don't you just uh, say I wish for all the evils to be uh, undone that we have committed over the uh, past year? Certainly you would die, and then <laughs> there's a chance I would too. I'm, I feel like we have to do this a little bit more organically, but let's just continue to talk about this. But uh, friends, I, I've kept you waiting. We are healed up. We have obviously made sure that there's no one coming after us. So I think it's time to do the mission. Yeah, actually, uh, you guys need tonight's rest, and then everyone will be out full. As I was saying, we'll rest one more night, <laughs> and then we'll do the mission tomorrow, if that's agreeable with everyone here. Sounds I, good. I blink, I blink yes. <laughs> Nobody knows, except for Abigail. I know, I know. <laughs> should I, guys, should I try the ring to see if there's still someone else, or is that going to create a hellhole? What do you mean? See if someone. Because I still have my ring, right? Because no, I. No, we don't. Ring. Look, we just killed a shit ton of people that probably are sending someone here. I don't want I the fucking want giants to, to roll into town and be like, "Hey, hey what's the party? I what, just what's going on?" I just want to know if there's another person using the other ring, or if it's over. Look, just do it after we clear this oh, silly it. temple. Abigail, refresh my memory. Who has the other ring? Nobody, because it got destroyed, right? I had, I had one, and then it got destroyed by the dragon. So if and it got then... destroyed. Yeah, and then I add the other one that I took from the orcs or whatever, or the giants. And then I don't know if there's others, so that's why I wanted to try it to see if there was others. Or if it's like empty and like there's nothing at the end. I think we'll wait. We'll do one thing at a time. I think Ben and what he says right, right, should... right. No reason to explore that. We could that have now. gotten a bunch of rings and be really cool and very meta. Yeah. Um, I would have known where you guys would have been. You would have known what I would have done. The exit would have been amazing. I don't know if the wish works like that, though. <clears throat> well, anyways. I mean, those rings existed, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Neil, while this is happening, we start tucking ourselves into sleep to get ready for the next day. Who's on watch? Uh, I will take first watch. Okay, so you come back. So uh, you guys got so lucky in timing this out. So fucking lucky. Like, you get into town, you chat for a few minutes, everyone starts crawling to bed, you're like, oh, I'll take watch. And as you're sitting there watching, you see a caravan approaching through the woods. From there the you go. To, uh, Appleton. Um, I see it approaching from Appleton. Yeah, towards you guys. Then I just shout at them, wake up, they're finally here, get into position. I scream to Ben and, Grease, Grease, Grease. Is it only one caravan, Vincent? Are there any horses? What do on I the see, outside? Neil? Bar. For, I mean, I, I told you the first thing you saw is like two horses pulling like a cart with like a rider on it. Okay. It's like coming, making a beeline for you. I see three riders so far. Just get into position. We need the archers on the roof. Bannon, do what you got to do. You know what you do best. And I will be uh, in one of these buildings. Uh, Bregor, Abigail, you're going to be mm -hmm. first to strike. Take your best shot when they're in town. Uh, or not in town, but in the camp. And when, they're, when we know what we're dealing with, take your shot. I'll let you be the judge. Uh, Bregor, you get first shot. Abigail, no, Abigail, you get first shot, and Bregor, you follow suit. <clears throat> yeah, I'm already I up on the roof. I think there's no way I'm gonna get a back attack on this, though. I think if we're at the three-hour mark. Do you guys want to take a break? We should take a break before this fight starts. Well, let me. 
Go ahead, Abigail. Vincent. Like, Abigail, take a roof position where if they did come into the middle of the camp, you could be behind them. I mean, it's our best shot. Literally. So what if I hide in this corner and when I see them pulling like to this, I'll like climb on the roof and take a shot. You could just I lay, think I can do lay, that in lay the prone lab. up here. Okay, I'll prone up here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's take a break. We'll see you guys in three minutes, and we'll see if we even get to the temple <laughs> today. We'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. More roleplay coming up after this as we head into hour number four. <laughs> 